Shin Gojira. The latest Movie Monster series release from Bandai shook the fandom and vinyl fans to their very core. We didn't know what to expect, and when that first promo shot was finally shown off, good lord. Many, myself included, collectively lost their sh or got skeeved out by the whites of Godzilla's eyes and the size of his meatloaf ass head. But moving forward, Godzilla 1991 is indeed the 89 suit, just uber beefed up in the chest and shoulders while the face was redone to look fiercer. The 1989 suits, land and sea, effectively became the Hokkaido suit and the Shinjuku suit. Hokkaido apparently being the sea suit, with Shinjuku being the original land suit. Hence the on and off, this looks familiar thing that people have with the 91 and 89 suits. And ironically, for whatever reason, <laughs> they used an image of the 89 suit for the tag, which is not as bad as Mothra, I guess. Anybody remember that? But also, come on, Bandai. <laughs> Taking a look at the tag, here is the image in question, the 1989 suit, and right up front we have Godzilla 1991, 2021, with the little emblem painted on here. Here we have the back of the tag, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Movie monster series, the tag cut out to the side of Godzilla's spines over here. Not too much different going on on the inside, aside from this silhouette over here, which doesn't match what's going on on the front of the tag. That's happened a few times before with the movie monster series releases, I think, but I don't quite remember it happening quite like this. But anyway, throw the movie in the trash, I say! Just like Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, technically 3. I don't like the movie this guy is from. Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah is probably the worst Godzilla movie of all time. Personally. But anyway, let's talk about the figure, right? My god, just look at him! He's magnificent. The dorsal fins are indeed basic, not too much going on with them, but probably the most important part about these dorsal fins is... They start here, they go all the way throughout the back, to the tail, all the way to the tip of the tail. Oh my god, Bandai finally painted the entire tail on a standard movie monster series release. What is this? This is magnificence. This is exactly what I wanted from you, Bandai. Thank you. A closer look, you say? I would gladly do so. Look at the curvature. Look at the paint. I'm just ecstatic that these are all painted. It's all painted, and it all looks good. Now, yes, I wouldn't say that the dorsal fins are 100% accurate, because normally there's some skin there, but we have detail for that. We don't need paint for that, right? No. But I do absolutely love that everything is painted. Look at that, man. From the top of his head to his back, all the way through the tip of the tail. It's all there, man. It's finally happened. They're back to doing the good stuff again, finally. And just look at all that lovely detail on these things. I love it, I love it, I love it. Though unfortunately, my copy does have a couple of nicks on the dorsal fins, mostly this guy up here. I got a few over here, but I'm really not too bummed out about that because yet again, they painted the entire tail. Oh my God. Here we have a look on the opposite side of the dorsal fins. Oh yes, very very nice. I like it, yes. I really don't think I could find a problem with this, even if I tried. Because if I tried, I have a feeling I would just be grasping at straws here. We do have some very decently painted claws over here. Nothing crazy, nothing wondrous. Got some nice yellow toenails on 91 Goji. They will not be painted on the underside, but... Toho Company Limited, Bandai China. And now let's move on to the one part of the figure I'm sure everybody's just dying to see the head oh my god i am stunned i'm amazed i'm over the moon this thing looks amazing that's it. Now, I have seen a lot of people complaining about the size of Godzilla's head and the whites of his eyes, and hey, more power to you. You like what you like, you dislike what you dislike. But me personally, I see nothing wrong here. I like the way Godzilla's eyes look. I'm glad that they're just not fully blacked out, because in all honesty, if the whites of Godzilla's eyes were fully blacked out, he would just look like Final Wars Goji to me. And I hate Final Wars Godzilla. I, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I am just so very impressed with the precision that Bandai adopted for this. Cleanly painted whites of the eyes, a decent ring around the orange of Godzilla's eye, including a decently painted pupil. And yes, your eyes are not bewitching you, the pupils are exactly sculpted on. And they're like that on both sides. Just 
fantastic stuff. Good show, Bandai. Absolutely good show. But what's genuinely just as impressive is the mouth and the teeth. All of the teeth are individually painted. Not all of them are 100% perfect, but just the fact that we have a red, glossy mouth and yellow teeth and it doesn't all look like a gooped up mess is an absolute blessing. And look at that beautifully pronounced tongue. And yes, there is detail on the roof of the mouth as well. <laughs> when it comes to Godzilla's head size, I'm really not seeing an issue with it. I'll try and do some figure to suit comparisons here when it comes to the head i think the snout might just be a little bit on the short side if anything granted it's nothing i would take points off for like at all really but i don't know this looks perfectly fine to me like i just grabbed godzilla right off the screen and with that being said look at godzilla's skin man it might not be the deepest detail that we've gotten on a movie monster series figure but this just looks so freaking good, man. So, so, so freaking good. There's even details on the inside of the hands over here. Yeah, it's not that crazy, but I'm still impressed. God, just look at that. <sighs> Granted, a lot of the detail you're going to be seeing is very copy and pasty, like you see one part of Godzilla's skin, you pretty much have seen it all, but I'm just too in love with this figure to not further discuss the amazing detail that's present within it. Even the bottom of the tail got some decent detail treatment. I wouldn't say it's the best, I've seen a little bit better from the Movie Monster series, but overall, what's visible does look fantastic, and it's fully painted. <laughs> And I really have no complaints. I like that we got the little dorsal nubs that are outlining the dorsal fins on his back. I like that we got it on both sides. And just look at the top of Godzilla's head. It's so good. <laughs> Again, the snout might be a little bit on the pushed inside, but I am not going to start lodging complaints. The Bandai Movie Monster series Godzilla 1991 is going to get a solid star in terms of paint and a solid star in terms of detail. In fact, I might as well just say, this thing is three solid star worthy based on the paint and the detail alone. Yes, there isn't a lot of it, but this means so much, especially to me. I've been making a big deal about this from the beginning, I believe, of my YouTube channel. I've been f***ing about all this, and it's finally done. Good show, Bandai. And now let's upset some people with some articulation. Nothing at the tail. Genuinely wasn't expecting that anyway. Clearly nothing at the head, but you will get a back and forth motion at the arms, forward and back, back and forward. And these legs over here can go all the way around like so. Godzilla ain't no one-trick pony. Both sides can do so, and that's it. Articulation, while basic and a little bit on the lacking side, I, I, I can't not love this figure. I want you to feel the excitement and the energy that is now emanating from my soul into this crappy little web camera. I love this figure. This is, might be a bit of a stretch here, the best movie monster series figure in the standard wide release line of movie monster series release figures following 2014. This is the best modern wide released Bandai movie monster series figure of all time. 2014 to now, I should say. Detail on point, paint on point, mouth glossy, teeth beautifully painted, pupils sculpted into the head, and of course, Tail fully painted all the way to the tip. Solid star in terms of articulation. Ranking this lovely lad out at four solid heckin' stars. And we are not done. Not even close. Okay, a little bit close. Now I'm aware that this guy has been classified as everything from 91, 92, 93 by Bandai and Bandai fans, whatever. There's been no major clear answer because he's been re-released so many times, but I just wanted to show you all what we came from and where we are now. And to be completely honest, the detail on this guy is way better. You can actually like see all of that. You can see the separation of the chest over here. Over here, it's a little bit on the lighter side. Like you can feel it and see it, but over here you can definitely feel it and see it. There's a lot more definition going on over here. And personally, I feel when it comes to the skin, this guy over here totally takes the cake. But when it comes to dorsal fins, there is absolutely positively no freaking match modern day 91 takes the cake absolutely look at look at this look at this look at this it's okay but it don't look like that that looks way better 
so much better. But of course, this show off over here has articulation at the head, but that's not giving him any extra points. Speaking of the heads, I mean, this guy, he looks good. I like him. He looks nice, but this guy is practically picture perfect. There's not a doubt in my mind that this is Godzilla 1991. This guy, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comment section down below, but I've always known this thing as 92, 93. Three? I don't even remember what I know this thing as, but this is 1991 Godzilla. Tried and true. Whites of the eyes, orange eyes, not golden eyes, yellow teeth, not dumb super yellow teeth. I don't know. Maybe it's the new figure goggles that I'm wearing right now. But I really can't take off those new figure goggles because I am just so vastly impressed with what Bandai did this time around. Here's another thing. I genuinely prefer the feet on New 91 over here versus this one. I don't know, the toes always felt so overly big and Godzilla's feet kind of look like smash burgers. But other than that, I really have nothing else to compare. This guy's got the better skin detail. This guy's got the better everything else, personally. Although I do very much prefer the tail arcing up than sloping down. Definitely prefer this over this, but I digress. I may not like his movie very much, well, really at all, but this figure is without a doubt one of my brand new favorites, top five, I would say, and hopefully the prodigal son, the harbinger of better days in the movie monster series. Critical acclaim? Yes. Overly hopeful? Maybe. New figure goggles? I don't think so. I like this thing. I like it a lot, and that's probably like the 85th time I've said it in this video, but I can't help it. This figure is amazing. Four solid stars yet again. Patrons, thank you so much for becoming Shin Rob Jira patrons. I absolutely appreciate that. Social media and merch pages will be linked in the description below, and I will see you all probably next week. I kind of want this figure to marinate a little bit out there in the YouTube-verse, but I've got a couple of Godzilla singular point things coming in from Ami Ami and a few other things coming in from Hobby Link Japan. You'll see all of that eventually, and thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I really appreciate it. So until next time, everybody, I have been Shin Rob Jira. Thank you so much for watching yet again. A peaced morning, noon, night, and afternoon to you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.